yeah, welcome back to my kitchen. Welcome April. You know, we're coming into the Easter weekend and so many of us will be having ham for Easter this weekend. And I wanted to show you a great recipe to use for leftover ham, or this is something that you could make for a nice Easter brunch. It's kind of like quiche Lorraine. And who is Lorraine? Lorraine is an area in France. Quiche is a German word that means savory cake. So it's an egg pie kind of dish. Just a little useless information for you. But I'm combining two recipes today, mini ham puffs and quiche Lorraine into little tartlets that we're making in a mini muffin pan today. I'm excited for this recipe. I took a package of crescent rolls piece of ham, three eggs, and a little bit of cream or milk, some cheese, and a veggie. So you can use tomatoes. I'm using a red pepper today to make it colorful. I took a little bit of cornmeal in my flour sugar shaker. So I have one of these that has salt and pepper in it, one that has Montreal steak spice in it, one that has powdered sugar in it, and one that has sugar and cinnamon in it. This is so useful to have lots of different things in it ready to grab out of your pantry cupboard one-handed rolling pin, rolled out a single package of crescent rolls, made it into a nice flat dough, and I took my mini measure all cup and we're gonna use the end of it like a biscuit cutter and cut a circle out and put it in the mini muffin pan. Push down a little bit to make a little bit of a well and pop those circles into the little mini muffin pan to make 24 appetizers, mini quiche Lorraine's. Useful little tip for you to use your mini measure all as a biscuit cutter. Cornmeal helps the dough not stick to the cutter or the cutting board. So there we go. We've got our little 24 wells done in the mini muffin tin. Got a piece of ham here. I want to cut it down a little bit smaller so it'll fit under the blades of the food chopper and we're going to chop it really fine like that and we're going to chop a little bit of red pepper. The Lorraine recipe has chives and tomatoes in it so we're just kind of combining both of those recipes together. Let's chop that red pepper. I have my small batter bowl here. We're gonna dump in three eggs. If you have large eggs, just use two. A half a cup of cream. If you don't have cream, go ahead and use milk. I'm gonna give it a whip with my mini whipper and some salt and pepper. And we're gonna put the chopped ham and the chopped peppers in with the eggs, and then we're gonna add some cheese. The squeegee side on these does such a good job of picking things up off of your cutting board after you chop it with the food chopper. Little mix. We're gonna add in a tablespoon and a half of Dijon mustard. I have grainy Dijon in there. Dijon mustard goes so well with ham. And some cheese. So this is Swiss cheese. If you don't have Swiss cheese, that's okay. Use whatever kind of cheese you have at home. And it does only call for half a cup of cheese. You know me. I don't think I've ever done just half a cup of cheese in a recipe. <laughs> in that goes a little mix. And then some chives. So chives are sort of the substitution for onion. If you have onion at home, just go ahead and use onion. Love using the shears for doing onions and chives or parsley. This is just gonna give it another little blast of flavor. I'll save a little bit of this maybe to cut up on top. Maybe even add a little bit more cheese on top. The easiest way to portion this would be to use a little scoop. And we're just gonna put a little bit 
in each of these wells. It's hard to believe that three eggs and a half a piece of ham is going to make 24 portions of something super economical. There we go. I have my oven preheated to 350. These are going to pop in there for 14 minutes. I'll be back. Here they are, 24 little mini quiche Lorraines. They smell so good. I am going to add a little bit more cheese. I've got some parm here, so I'm going to do a little dusting over them. I wish you could smell these. I don't know if it's the chives or the cheese that's making them smell so good, but I'm so happy that I got a chance to show you a great little recipe to use with your leftover ham from Easter. Here's a little joke for you. It's been a long time since I've told a joke. Why does the Easter Bunny paint his eggs? Because they're too hard to wallpaper. <laughs> I hope you make these. 